so for this is for Jerry Romanov, Romanova, I think. Um, so the big thing is that you wanted to do a um, kind of uh, figure drawing, a little bit cartoonish, um, and it's it's overall uh, you know pretty decent, but there's little idiosyncrasies in it that I would uh, definitely start working on changing a little bit. Um, and it's it's simple things like I would grab this eye here and transform it, make it just a hair bigger. Um, probably push it in a little bit more. Um, this eyebrow, oops. this eyebrow is probably going to need to go up a little bit more. Um, so we would move, you know, move that up here. Um, grab this and kind of fill it in as far as brush goes. Um, the nose is the, the nose feels kind of really sharp and forward. Like if you want to get that this this feeling of light and dark, you want to continue. So here's your dark here. So you know the light is coming down and to the side. So if that's the case, you really want to carry this through and add some of these purples in here, and that's going to push out that that uh, the nose a lot more. Um, and it's going to build into kind of what you're trying to, to accomplish with your shadows. Uh, the next thing I would tell you is it's little things like, you know, the mouth isn't quite straight. So just selecting it and transforming it just a little bit more. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it makes it makes a difference when it's um, that type of thing. I would definitely put in the cleft palette. And which is basically the little kind of aspect there. And I and it's very asexual right now. So you really want to decide if you want to go boy or girl. Um, so there's uh, the big thing is as a boy, the neck muscles pop out, whereas a girl, the neck muscles don't pop out. So that's something that you really want to pay attention to. Um, where And you can actually just kind of kind of blend that in. And if you smooth this out as a transitional thing, um, you know, you can add in, always add in, you know, a little bit more lights and darks, very subtle tones and things like that. But the female neck muscles don't pop out nearly as much as a male's do. So you want to have, you know, you want to be aware of that. And so just simply, you know, dulling that down is going to really kind of sell that a lot more. Um, and so the other thing too is a female, uh, her shoulders, and I'm drawing this more towards female than male, um, as just because of the female, the eyes and stuff like that. But the female's shoulders come down and they don't go straight across. So I would definitely, you know, kind of round that out as far as as far as that that kind of quality goes. Um, and then if you're going to add in, you know, little bits of, of white and stuff like that, kind of build it up here as well. And then use some of this row, uh, this red, to bring back into the chest because our chests tend to be a little bit brighter um, from that standpoint. Um, and it, it's, like I said, it's not bad. You have good form or you have, you know, you have a good painting style. Um, I think the big thing is you just need to kind of, take it to the take it to the definition of its of its either male or female um and so i think that's i'm gonna just cover your name i'm sorry i'm just gonna kind of cover that over here um so i mean you know simple things like this uh you know bringing down the bringing the the neck down a little bit more curved and things like that um, and then if you're doing the hair, I would actually kind of go a little bit brighter with the hair here, 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 things like that. Um, and add some of those highlights in there and that'll give you a little bit more depth without getting away too much from the cartoony. Um, you know, so those are things that you can kind of do. Uh, the other thing is I would add in a little bit more chin and 
kind of round this out and that's going to round the form and give the face a little bit more shadow and tone so it's it's not a lot of things that you can do oh and uh one more thing redden the ears um ears tend to be redder uh and you can pop those out a little bit more um you know especially like so all right um but the ears you know and, and it's subtle changes but as you can see those subtle changes really pop um the gender through um so those are things that i would just take tell you to tell you to kind of look at and, and uh, kind of push to that next level um, and then if you want this hair to pop out pop it out forward like that so those are things that I would change they're very subtle um, and then the other thing is if you look here your your shadow is going this way but your lights going on the opposite way so I would definitely kind of go in there and and uh, grab a highlight and put it on the other side and by doing so, as you can see, it just makes more more logical light sense. Um, so those are things that you can do. Um, just cleaning up the line work, um, straightening you know the eyes. I would probably lower this other eye a little bit, a little bit more things like that. Um, but that's going to help you out as far as um, kind of pushing it to a, a cleaner level. But overall, like I said, yeah, I think you have a good color technique. I think you just need to kind of straighten things up a little bit more. All right?